Hi, Monique. Well, you know what? Um, those were two lovely reference photos. And um, I had to look at your painting to make sure it wasn't also a photo because you have a very nice style and you've painted it. Um, as you know, the rule is wherever there is a light, there's a dark. So if you look at your mushrooms here, now let me just show you something. If you look at these mushrooms right here, okay, they start off as dark on the top with the light on the bottom and these stems. But if you look at yours, what you've done is you've put light on the top of those. Now what you did when you did that was you made them look almost like something that grows underwater. These almost look cartoony. They don't go with the rest of the painting. For instance, if you had this forest, you put a deer here or something like that or something else, then um, you might see that because in this picture, there's light green behind these mushrooms. And so the top's dark. When you put a light on them like it's a jewel, then you've changed the, the way these look, okay? And you're very, what I would call hot. Um, this white sky is very hot. It's uh, too light bright. So if I do a black and white of this, um, you're, where I'm looking at is this spot right up here with the light. Do you see that? I'm really not even looking at the mushrooms anymore, even though you, you kind of do in the color. You don't in the black and white. This sky is really bright. Um, in this photo, the sky is not as bright as these front flowers, but in yours, the sky right here is very, very bright. So what you want to do is a couple of things. If you want to keep this... Um, Well, let's see. The first thing I would do, we're going to keep it. Let's just come on over here to my painter program. The first thing I would do, let's move our guy over here, is um, I would tone this sky down, all right? Uh, I would glaze out this sky. Let's see. Where am I going with this? Okay. And maybe into the kind of these these more warm tones, and I would do a wash on the sky. Let's see if I can make the brush bigger. I'd warm up the sky so it wasn't so white. Okay. There we go. Let's just let's just glaze over everything and give it this sort of give it the warm glow of the sun because this is too these these your shadows are too cool. Um, to um, now if you have something like that then you've got some light shining through here on the flower on this right so I'd probably I'd want to warm all this up right in here like this you've got to give the painting a cohesive look all right um, less and now I want to where the sun isn't getting this, on this side perhaps I wouldn't have it, more of a blue, green in the grass, something like this. Now you see already what that's done, and then I want to take those <coughs> mushrooms alright, now if I made that darker, see that's not helpful is it? So what could we do to make those mushrooms work? Nothing with the glaze. The, mu the mushrooms, we can't really do much with the glaze, but we can do some stuff, but not, not that. So, um, I like the idea of the light coming through here, <coughs> coming through your, um, your forest and, the, and, the, your sh and your highlights being warmer. See in this how everything's got kind of a yellow gold glow to it, and yours didn't really have that, right? In fact, we still probably could do even a little more of this here. I want a little bit more warm glow here too on this tree. Just 
Just this tree maybe right here. Okay. Same thing with this tree. Okay. Now, you can see where that did. And then I think if you're going to keep these mushrooms and make them look realistic, you've got to change how you painted them. And the problem is that you've got it very dark back here. Um, so that being said, what could you do for that? I think I did a new layer, didn't I? Okay, so let's go back up here. Let's go back and find these colors. Sorry, I just swore I found these colors here. Grayer color. All right. I can't really do much with the computer program for this, but because um, that's really kind of not what I want at all. But I, I think I'm sort of stuck with that. Let's see. Let's get rid of that layer. All right, let me try something else. You've got to somehow lighten it up around your mushrooms so that, that it's not so dark over here. This is just too dark. This dark, even though it's pretty, if you weren't putting the mushrooms in, it kind of works, but this really doesn't with this. So you've got to, it's got to be greener. I know you want the dark brown dirt, but that just doesn't work here. Well, not with those mushrooms, because they're still way too bright. You're going to have to brighten up some other stuff up in here to make this work. And... Those your logs gonna have to be bigger. Something like this. I have to make that bigger somehow. And then these little mushrooms are going to have to be darker on top. And if they're dark on top, well, I know that's hard. Let's see, let's see if we can't make them just slightly bigger. I don't know if I can just show you what you need to do. I think the mushrooms have to be bigger and not so translucent looking. You're going to have to paint them more like this picture.
your mushrooms are light around the underneath part. Bigger stems. They're darker underneath. They have maybe they've got this blue on top of them. Let me zoom out for a minute. Let's see if I can reset this. Okay, so however you're going to paint these, if you make them look like they're underwater, you don't want to do that. Somehow you, you can't do that. So if you make them real light on top, start putting highlights on them. I know why you did that. You did that because otherwise they wouldn't show up against the dark background. All right? I mean, what else could you do? But if you'll notice that they, their stems were quite long. Their stems were quite tall. You know, they had a big, you know, they had a t tall stem here. I, mean, I guess you saw that, right? And this nice little skirt underneath them, this little white skirt. Um, I'd put one down here too. I'd, I'd have a few more. Because you've got to have some purple. This purple is so out of place to everything else you've got in the picture. That's the problem. So um, you've got to have some sort of purple tones in something and I'm not sure how you're going to pull that off but to me because if you put a little light on them up here like this um, what you don't want to have is have them look like they're um, um, underwater and they kind of do to me still and I like it they had the red stems you know that did you see that and there's some red in this tree branch red and green are compliments and when you're painting green you've got to throw some red in okay that's one of the things you need to do if you are too married to your photo then it will never look like a painting it will just look like a photo somebody painted maybe even colorized so as an artist you it's up to you to change that to make it seem more like a like a photo. So I don't like any of that. But you've got to let's see, I want this green. I do like this green. You've got to exaggerate the moss here. This is your center of interest. You, you, I would exaggerate it. Have some of it hanging off the log like this maybe. Um, I 
No, you need a little blue touch to that, but you've got to be careful with these. Um, and then as far as your orange flowers go, um, let's brighten this up a little bit. All right, I'm just going to show you that much. Um, let's see, what can I do with this? This you can achieve with dry brushing. Let's see if that works. I'm not sure I like that. Maybe I can do that with chalk better. This would be a dry brushing with zinc white with a little bit green in it. Let's try a new layer. All right, something like that. That's what I'm thinking. This is just absolutely something like that. Um, One last layer and then we'll go look. This little bit would be in shadow here because it's um, underneath. Okay, something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Let me just show you the difference. Um, Uh, let's see, let's take this one. Um, okay, that's what you did there, right? Okay, and here's my suggestions. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. And you got to warm the whole thing up, make these mushrooms a little bigger myself. Uh, but um, uh, let's see. All right, there's your black and white. You see the difference? I don't know if you can. Um, it doesn't look that difference, much different in the black and white, except that... Um, uh, we've made the log a bit bigger, brought us a little, little bit closer, Sh had a, a enough shadow where the light is falling in places, and the, some places are shadow. Um, let me put it back to color. But it does, when you have these streaks going through, it kind of warms it up. Well, that's my best guess. I hope that's helpful. Let me know what you think.